Hey everybody, it is Nicole from Shape It Up Fitness and I am bringing you another live video because I'm just getting ready to do my workout and I've been putting it off, believe it or not, for a couple hours. <laughs> um, I've been busy doing some uh, computer stuff, some marketing, that kind of thing, and I keep pushing it off and keeping pushing it off. So I wanted to jump on here because um, a lot of times I think people think that I just love working out and that um, it just comes naturally to me that I want to work out, that kind of thing. And I think some people are shocked to know that I don't always want to work out. <laughs> um, before we dive into that, I want to let you know about a new program that I have. It's called Turn Your Life Around in Six. I have taken all the tools that I have um, in my 13 years of being a trainer and I would love to give them to you and help guide you through the process. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, head over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Um, just click that button and it says, you know, request a phone consult with me and then it'll take you to another page, which the link is above if you wanna cut out that middleman link. Um, and then just request a phone consult with me. But back to what we're talking about. So I don't, I don't want to work out today. <laughs> and it's not that. Um, so my, my thing or my sentence that I always tell myself is, is that I like to work out in the morning. And the reason I like to work out in the morning is because there's less things that get in the way. I have less food inside of me, so I feel lighter. I am usually have more energy in the morning, you know, because I have my coffee and I'm just starting the day. And there's a lot of other things that don't get in the way. Now, I train clients very early in the morning. Um, so like five to sometimes 10, I'm usually training people, um, 10 a.m. And then I do my workout, typically. Today was not the case, <laughs> so which is fine. But there are going to be times when your brain is going to be like, I don't want to, I don't want to work out. Why do I have to work out? I'd rather sit and work at my desk and do stuff like that. Or I'd rather just go to the kitchen and eat some food or, you know, relax and read a book or what have you. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't relax. And I'm not saying there's a, you know, I like to tell my clients, you have to earn your sit time. So when I get to that point where I'm like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I kind of just put blinders on, you know, the kind that you put on horses where they can only see forward. And I try to think, okay, I always feel great after I do my workout, nine times out of 10. Um, and I know that if I skip my workout, I am not going to get any closer to my goals. If you are new to following me, I have a goal um, in the fall to do a fitness contest. And I have been actually been thinking about doing this for a long time. So, you know, the process of me deciding actually to go for it and do it. So I know that if I skip my workouts, I am not gonna get any close to my goal. And I try to always tell this to clients is that there are times when you are not going to want to work out. There are times when you are not going to want to eat certain foods or you're going to want to grab, you know, 12 donuts or what have you. Just be aware of the thoughts that are in your head. And if you've heard me talk about your primal brain or primal brain or your primitive brain, um, you know that that lower brain, that's our reptilian brain, the one that wants to keep us safe in the cave and not venture out and not accomplish our goals. That brain is the one that's going, yeah, no, let's not work out. Let's, let's stay in the cave. Let's be very safe. Let's, you know, it's comfortable. Let's be comfortable. And comfort does not really give you your goals. You're not going to achieve your goals. You have to get out of your comfort zone and go get those goals. So your goal could be, it doesn't have to be a fitness competition. It could be a goal of just walking three times a day for 20 minutes or something, you know, or playing with your kids and keeping up with them, that kind of thing. So it doesn't matter what the goal is, how big or small, but the more time you say yes to yourself and honor your commitments to yourself, 
not only will it help you progress and get to your goal, but you're also reinstating in your brain that you want to use your higher level brain and you want to go after those goals. Okay. So just to clarify your primitive brain, which is your lower brain is the one that wants to keep you safe and you know, basically wants to eat all day and not do anything that's going to make it uncomfortable. Your higher level brain, your prefrontal cortex, I like to call it your sophisticated brain is the brain that helps you decide that you want to do things. It helps you decide you want to have goals and ambitions in life. Um, if you tap in more to that sophisticated brain, you're going to get a lot more out of life than just sitting and staying in the cave. So I am going to get ready to go do my workout. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> I also tell people to sometimes when, um, when I don't want to do a workout, um, those are usually the times I have the best workouts ever. And I don't know if it's because my expectations are super low and it can only go up, but um, I don't know what it is. And I always tell them, look, you know, if you're really struggling, just do five minutes and see how you feel. A lot of times it's just getting started and getting that momentum to go into your workout. Um, but just do something to get, you know, to help you honor your commitments and to keep yourself on the path because what happens is if I said to myself I don't want to do this and I skip this workout I am just reinforcing that negative habit of oh well, let's skip because then next tomorrow I might not want to do it again and I'll be like oh well you skipped yesterday so why not skip today again it's not going to get you to your goals if you have some goals which I hope you do you got to propel forward and you got to keep moving forward it's more about consistency rather than perfection so that is my little live video for right now. I am going to go work out and um, I know I'm going to feel great after I do it. So if you haven't done your workout today, go get it. And if you need a workout, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com slash call, C-A-L-L. Um, request a 10 minute free consult with me or it's on the phone. We'll chit chat about what your goals are. Uh, I'll be happy to tell you about the new program, Turn Your Life Around in six. And um, even if you decide it's not for you, that's totally fine. Maybe I can help you and give you some direction in whatever direction your goals are. All right, so have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go crush this workout. I think it's legs today. So, all right, if you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I will talk to you soon, bye.